Meet local artist Debbie Glakus. You are an artist, you have an art show at the 868 Vineyard, and it is going to have a special event coming up this Sunday for a couple of hours right. where people can meet you and see your artwork. Right. Uh, some examples of some small florals out for people, and be talking about just my process and how I develop the painting. The small florals that you're talking about? Yeah, correct. So this is what's called, um, this particular size is an eight by eight cradled canvas. So anyway, and it's acrylic and graphite uh, mixture. And I always start out with graphite, which when mm. I was growing up, it was always taboo, but the heck with rules. Uh -huh. <laughs> so anyway, I love the way graphite and uh, the linear graphite lines play within, you know, the different shapes and forms of my paintings. Um, I know you've been a longtime Oakton resident and you yes. were a teacher in the Fairfax County Public Schools as an art teacher. Right. Anyway, my first teaching job was at Chantilly and I was very extra fortunate to have worked with a person who was um, a little older than me and just extremely knowledgeable in all facets of art, was well-traveled, which I was not. Mm -hmm. I learned so much from her, and uh, the most important thing was probably how to be just open and just very free-spirited about my approach. Mm -hmm. um, never think that there were limits, necessarily, that you could experiment. Experimenting was okay, just like I said, using mm -hmm. graphite was okay. Nothing wrong with that pencil sketch, mm -hmm. and, you know, and so on. But and happy accidents, let happy accidents happen. We're sitting in your studio and the things that I see around, some, some things are finished, some are oh, in, yeah, the process. in the process. <laughs> but there's, I think, a joyfulness to your work. I don't know oh, if it's all you. like that, but it's just, it's bright and it's mm -hmm. happy. I'm constantly trying to experiment with lots of different processes and techniques within painting or printmaking mm -hmm. or you know working with salvage materials and so on. But then something I'm really taken with, and can I get this over oh, here? Oh yeah, sure. Is your trays are works of art, though they could be um, used as Again, a trays. I, I guess to me these bridge the gap between um, you know, fine art painting and craft, mm -hmm. you know, and function. Yeah. But they are salvaged frames. Again, something that I like to upcycle, mm -hmm. you know, repurpose. And being an art teacher for 32 years uh, at Chantilly, I think I had a bazillion people bringing me their old frames. I finally decided I had to do something with. And so um, I had one, I installed wood in it and it was large. And I started to do a still life painting on it of pears. And I thought, oh my gosh, this would make a perfect tray. Yeah. So then I decided to install the little ball feet on all of them. I love these ball feet. They're yeah. so cute and so whimsically painted. Yeah. So, but anyway, they're fun. And they definitely have been something that, that everyone's been interested in. But yeah, you could hang this on the wall. You could oh, hang yeah. it on the wall and Absolutely. take it off of the wall to use yes. it. Right. I love these. This Thank you. Really, this is a sushi themed one. Yeah. And people could feel free to email me. Okay. You know, it's fine. And you're Debbie well. Blake is at gmail.com. I am. Yeah. And it's all. Um, well, this has been a delightful visit. Oh, delightful getting yeah. to know you Enjoyed and it. seeing your work. And I'm looking forward to seeing um, what is out at your show. If people would like to meet Debbie, they can meet her this Sunday, August 20th from 2 to 4 at the 868 Vineyard in Hillsborough.